What's up everybody? This is Chris and this is my channel. We love comics and we have another breaking news alert. There has been a another comic book that is going to be turning into a TV show. Um, I wanted to thank my subscriber by the name of Steve Smith. He actually put this in the comment section. Sorry I couldn't do this earlier. I um, Thursdays tend to be a very busy day for me, so I was at work pretty much all day. And then I also saw the uh, confirmation of it on Jim's Comics, so a uh, little shout-out to him as well. And uh, let me show you the the comics that you want to look for. And, of course, prices are starting to rise because you know how people don't want to try and take as much money as possible. But let me show you the books, and I'll leave it up to you to make the decision if you want it or not. Okay, so here we go. The comic is by Image Comics. It's called Gideon Falls. Uh, it has been optioned for a TV show. Just keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this, just because something's optioned doesn't mean it will happen or the TV show will be good. So if you see prices are too expensive... You know, go to your local comic book stores, look there first, see if you can find some deals, uh, unless you see maybe some special variant or something like that. But the left one is cover A, the middle one is cover B, and the one to the right is a variant. Uh, there are different printings, so make sure you're getting a first print. Uh, from what I saw on Jim's comics, and again, uh, shout out to him because he has this book. This is a book I did not pick up. Uh, but he says the first print on the one on the left is going to be the color white on the uh, lettering. Any other color means it's either a second or third print. So just make sure if you are unsure, message the uh, eBayer. Uh, I'm seeing prices going for between 16 and $25 at this point. To be honest, I wouldn't spend more than that. Um, like I said, try and look and see if you could find it at the uh, local comic book stores. If you can, you're probably going to get it a lot cheaper, probably about 8 to $10 there. And don't forget, if you have the cashback program, make sure you activate it before you make any purchases so you can get the discount. So if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look in the link in the description of this video. Just click on it, sign up, and if you make a purchase of $25 or more, you'll get a $10 bonus. But it has to be done before the 30th of this month, so in two days from now. So make sure you activate it. Um, if you don't know how to do it, I made a video just earlier today that most people haven't seen that will teach you how to do it. So sign up if you haven't. Activate it if you're going to get something. And uh, thanks to Steve, Steve Smith for giving me the heads up on this book. Uh, another thing you might want to look out for, just give me one quick second. With regards to the information the other day about Morbius, the uh, living vampire movie, uh, this is another book that may be um, passed over because everybody's going to be looking for Amazing Spider-Man 101, which is his first appearance, but also his most expensive book. Uh, this is Adventure into Fear, issue number 20. Uh, this is his first solo series. Uh, you could probably pick this one up mid-grade around the $20, $25 mark, which is going to be a lot cheaper than a three dollars or $400 first appearance. So you may want to check that out, and I'll give you one more tip. And those of you who listen to the end are going to get this information. Now, we don't know if this movie's ever going to get made, so keep that in mind. If you're going to invest, sometimes you got to take risks. So if you're going to get mad if something doesn't go through and you spent the money, you know you shouldn't invest. But uh, if it ends up being made and ends up being good, well, this is putting vampires into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even though this is technically a Sony movie. So another um, book that is not going to be cheap, but it's going to be cheaper than it will be if it gets announced is Tomb Raider issue number 10. I'm sorry, not Tomb Raider <laughs> issue 10. Tomb of Dracula issue number 10, which would be the first appearance of Blade the Vampire Hunter. So um, I actually had my sources back in the 2014, well, 2015, early 2016 era, which, by the way, most people, well, not most people, some of the people who uh, dislike me to this day, um, basically called me a liar and said I didn't have any sources, even though I was telling people about Edge of Spider-Verse 2, about um, Spider-Woman, about Silk, all those others, and they have all come true. I even told people about Morbius years ago. That's why I have several copies of that book. Um, they are after Phase 4, so you're talking years from now, or in near the end of Phase 4, they're going to go from space to starting to do more under uh, underground, underworld kind of stuff. 
So another book I would recommend to get while it's still affordable would be Silver Surfer number three, which is the first appearance of Mephisto. They might start getting into that underworld kind of stuff at some point. So the idea is, like, if people learned any lessons from what happened with Silk and with books like today, um, you don't want to get it at the last minute because you're going to pay through the nose. So get them beforehand, but just realize you're taking a chance on it. So there is no guarantee. But um, Tomb of Dracula 10, I would definitely recommend because, like I said, first appearance of Blade, Vampire Hunter. And then uh, I would absolutely recommend also Silver Surfer number three, first appearance of um, Mephisto. So a lot of the things that I predicted years ago are coming true. So you can either say it's good, you know, good guessing, or I actually kind of knew what I was talking about. So check out those other books. Um, I want to thank Steve again for giving me that information. Hit the thumbs up if you can. Um, hit the share button. Let everybody know about it. And again, thanks to Jim Comics. Um, if you want to subscribe to his channel, please go over and check him out. And uh, I'll see you next update. All right, guys. Happy hunting.